everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another ranking style video. We're continuing on our WWE Elite Series ranking. So if you guys didn't see, I think it was like a week and a half ago, maybe. I don't remember the exact date, but we got on here and we ranked WWE Elite Series 1 through 5. We went through all 30 figures. I did leave out two. I think I left out like Elite 2 Randy Orton and Elite 4 Fit Finley, which is pretty upsetting because both of those are pretty damn good. I think Fit Finley would have been in the go buy it. I think I pinned a comment about it, but today, guys, we are ranking Elite Series 6 through 10. So every Elite figure from the Series number 6 all the way through number 10, we're going to rank them here today. Let's go ahead and get through our little uh, ranking series over here guys at the top we have go buy it if I put a figure here I'm fully endorsing you to go buy the figure like I think it's worthy of putting in your collection that's how damn good it is it's go buy it next up is good figure where it's like yeah this is a really good solid figure if you wanted to add it to your collection would completely understand it you know it's it's very good stuff I completely agree with it right there the next one is meh which is you know it's not terrible it's not the greatest it's just meh you know it's just like it's it's like lukewarm it's like yeah I I mean, uh, you know, when the bathtub's lukewarm, it's like, is it cold? No, but do I want to get the hell in? You know what I'm saying? Next up, we have Barely Acceptable. And for Barely Acceptable, ladies and gentlemen, I know this E doesn't go completely right here, but that's not my problem, man. That's not my fault. I tried to fix it. It wouldn't fix, but Barely Acceptable means that you have one redeeming quality that keeps you out of the garbage, which is exactly where you don't want to be, which is the garbage, which means you don't have anything good, man. You're just not good. You are terrible. So there you go. Garbage is at the bottom. Go buy it at the top. Let's shut the hell up and dive into the first figure now, shall we? Now, starting things off first, we are going with Elite Series 9 Miz. Now, for me, with this figure kicking off the video, ah... I'm going to go barely acceptable. There's definitely better Miz figures out there, and I got to go by today's standards. He still had that weird kick pad problem where, like, his feet slash ankles were really super duper loose. His hips were also really weird. Like, his legs couldn't pose around very great. I'm not a very big Miz fan. It wasn't a bad figure for the time, and I'd say the highest it could go is meh anyway, so why not just put it in the barely acceptable quality? It also comes with a U.S. championship. Next up is Intercontinental Champion Elite 9 Drew McIntyre. I'm going to go good good figure here. I really like this figure. I think it's really solid. It's borderline go buy it. Really enjoy the Oval Intercontinental title. You guys know I love white gear. This is way before the WWE Champion Beast Mode Drew McIntyre that we know today. I'm going to put it in good figure and that's about it for that one. Next up guys, William Regal Elite 8. This is go buy it. I love William Regal. I think he's absolutely fantastic. I think this is a great figure. I don't know how this is the only Elite we've ever got. Okay, I know we got Elite 45 which we'll probably cover later on down the road. But this right here is just criminal. It's criminal that we haven't gotten another William Regal. So for me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put William Regal and go buy it. That's just plain and simple. I'm going to go buy it for William Regal. Next up is Sheamus. Uh, I'm going barely acceptable. There's just really, I don't want to put it in the garbage because it's like, you know, Sheamus, he, he's in plain trunks. It's not my favorite figure. It's just, it's just like why the Elite 54 or not Elite. Good God in heaven. More 30 series off Elite. 84 Sheamus is go buy it. This one is barely acceptable. Next up is Zack Daddy. We got Zack Ryder here. I'm going good figure on this one. It's a really fun figure. I hate the torso that they gave him, but it's a really unique figure. Comes with the internet championship. He's got the great cloth accessory. Really good figure, I'd say. I'm going to put that in good figure right there. I like that one a lot. Next up is Elite 9 Kofi Kingston. This one is... Uh, I think I'm going to go meh here, or do I want to go good figure? I'm going to go good figure. I'm going to go good figure. I I actually like this figure a lot. Uh, he still had the really good torso. Even though the one they use for him today is more accurate, this crushes his Decade of Domination figure. I like it. I've owned that figure multiple times. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. Next up is DX Triple H in Elite Series 7. I want to put it in good figure, but I really don't. I'm going to go meh, I think, because the head sculpt was just an abomination, okay? It was terrible. I think the Walgreens Elite Triple H in the DX gear is a lot better than this one, and just at the end of the day, man, it just doesn't 
content. It doesn't do it for me. I'm going to put it there. It does have really good accessories, but I don't think so, Brad. I'm not going to put it in there. Elite 6 JTG is a go buy it. This is a really unique figure. Tons of great molds on this guy. While he doesn't pose around the best, I love JTG. I loved Crime Time when I was a brown, you know, when I was when I was a kid. I was starting to, you know, turn into like a preteen right around this time or just like right before. It's like a couple years away from that. I really enjoyed JTG and Shad RIP to him. We'll get to him in this video. Rest in peace to the legend. But JTG is a go buy it for sure. Elite 6 Batista is elite, Brad. That is a go buy it figure for me. No doubt about it. Really enjoy the Elite 6 Batista figure. It's kind of crazy because Batista figures are just excellent, bro. I can't name a single Batista that is just awful. You know, like every Elite Batista they make is just cash money flowing out of the pockets. Hopefully we get some more coming soon. Next up, guys, we have Elite 6 Gold Dust. Honestly, good figure, you know? I, I mean, it has the terrible rubber, you know, cloth, rubber cloth. It has the terrible rubber coat. However, really good head sculpt. It's gold dust. It looks just like gold dust. Really good formula on the guy. What else do you want? Gold dust figures actually pose around really nicely. I'm going to go with good figure for now for gold dust. I really like that. Next up is Shawn Michaels Elite 7. I'm going go buy it on this one. One of the rarer figures in this video, bro. It is such a rare figure. You don't come across long pants Shawn Michaels. Defining moments, Elite 3, Elite 7. The Walgreens one is probably more, you know, obtainable at this juncture. But the Elite 7 HBK in full accessories, good luck finding that. Good luck finding it. You find that, you buy it. Doesn't matter the price, buy it because it's you don't find it. The, the shirt gets ripped to shreds. Anybody that owns this figure loose, if the jersey isn't hanging off his body and in like 17 pieces, you've got a gold mine on your hands. I'm going Elite 7 HBK in the go buy it section. Next up is Luke Gallows. For me, this is meh. You know, uh, around this time, like, I feel like even at this juncture for a release, it was just kind of meh. It's like, yeah, I, I guess it's good that we got him. Straight Edge Society and all. It's just like, do I want this? I don't know. His his new Elite with the Good Brothers is definitely better. It's more likeness. Given it is way later, it's like 46 series or something like that. Uh, you know, away. It's a doozy. But at the end of the day, man, not one that I would seek out. It's just, you know... I don't know. It's just not one that moves the needle for me. Next up, Elite 6 CM Punk. This is Go Buy It. Really enjoy this figure. I think I like it more than the Elite 1 because, you know, the head sculpts, I think the exact same. He comes with a cloth t-shirt that's the exact same, but I think I like the gear better on this figure more than the Elite 1. So for that reason, I'm going to put in Go Buy It. I like that CM Punk figure, man. That's a good, that's a pretty good football figure right there. Next up is Elite 6 Matt Hardy. This one is meh. I really like the shirt. I like the purple tights, but just, you don't think of Matt Hardy in this juncture, right? I mean, it's just not one of those that you need to seek out unless you're a diehard Hardy fan or a diehard Matt Hardy. You know, you don't really, I don't know, man. There's really no, there's not really a point in it. I'm going to put it in meh. Not a bad figure. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's meh. You know, it's not, it's not something that I'm going to seek out. I do want it in my collection, <laughs> but I don't, you know, I'm not, yeah, yeah, meh. Okay, meh. Next up, guys, RIP to Shad. We are going go buy it because if you go buy JTG, you got to buy Shad and they're really good, bro. Like when I talk about the molds of these figures, they're really damn good. Like, it's kind of insane to even think about. They're very good. It's just crazy. Uh, I actually got them very early when I started collecting Mattel figures, and they hold up to this day. Again, not the best posability, but really fun figures to have in your collection, and no doubt about it, I'd say go add them to your collection. Let's go buy it. RIP to Shad. Next up, guys, is Elite 7 Hornswoggle. This is barely acceptable for me. Uh, I just feel like, you know how we got that sick-ass battle pack with Hornswoggle with the WLC set it was uh that was a really damn good two pack like that was probably one of the better battle packs i think they've ever done and i just think like i just don't know if this was a given elite release it comes with a lot of great accessories which is why i think it's barely acceptable i just don't know if i like this for a you know an elite release i think a three pack would have been great i think that you know maybe something else may i don't know i just don't know how i feel about it being an elite set i think like a battle pack or a basic would have been better and they just you know they give us the same 
articulation because it's actually a really fun figure to pose around with. You know what? After, I'm going to put it in meh. A lot of people probably didn't like, you know, the horn swoggle DX deal and stuff, but overall, it's a pretty fun figure to pose around. If you own the figure, you know what I'm talking about. You get the, you know, you get the ladder, you get the cool accessories and everything like that. I'm going to put it in meh and we'll see where we go. Next up is Elite 7 Tyson Kid. I'm going to go good figure, really great attire on this guy. Head sculpt's not very good in my opinion. I like the cloth accessory. You know, it's Tyson Kid. What do you want? Pretty good. You know what? I'm going to put his tag team partner there as well. I think that them as a tag team, they had really great gear, really great accessories. Just a really good, like, good tag team to throw into a fed, really. I mean, it's just a really good set right there. I think they both look like the talent. It's, it's good figure. I think both of these guys are good figure there. Good luck finding those guys' mocks. That's all I got to say. Elite 8 Undertaker. Hmm. Really great entrance coat. Solid head sculpt. Pretty decent attire. Ha. I like this. I like this Undertaker. I'm putting it in good figure. I like it. I don't know. I like it. I don't know what to say, Brad. I like it. I'm putting it in good figure. I like the Undertaker figure. Probably one of the better, like, main Elite line releases for the Undertaker. So I'm going to put it in good figure, and we'll see. Elite 10 John Morrison is a go buy it. That's, uh, that's good stuff right there. Every John Morrison figure I've ever seen has been go buy it pretty much. It's really good. I, I, I'd say so. You know, you get the great tights. You get the good head sculpt. You get the good t-shirt in there. Not a, not a good robe or an entrance coat or anything, but it's still really good. I'm going to put it and go buy it. Next up is Elite 10 Kane. Another good release right here, man. I'm going to put it in good figure. I don't think it's quite the go buy it because I think Elite 4 is a little bit better. Yeah, I think good figure for Elite 10 Kane. Even though you do get the money in the bank in the World Heavyweight Championship, I'm going to put that in good figure. Next up is Ted DiBiase. This is barely acceptable. Just again, like, you guys can kind of see what we got going here in the barely acceptable. They're pretty plain Jane figures, right? And I know he's got the pink gear. He's got the green gear. I didn't rank the green gear. I think the pink gear is better anyway. But even if I had the green gear went in here, they both go in barely acceptable. Just doesn't move the needle, you know? Uh, it's It was pretty much a re-release of his first figure, except he came in different tights pretty much, right? I mean, the head sculpts were borderline the same. Accessories were borderline the same. Name. Barely acceptable for me. Next up is John Cena. This one, I mean, it's kind of hard to put at the times. I'm go I, I want to put it in mad, but I really want to put it higher. But at the same time, it's the orange gear. It's not my favorite gear of Cena. He has these wonky legs. You know, I like the head sculpt that they gave him, and I always enjoyed any Cena release with the the whole combo, the hat, shirt, call me jacket, shirt, hat man. This is, uh, I just, I don't know, man. The the sleeves don't fit very good. It's kind of flailing all over the place. Another one of those shirts that fell apart you know the old school mattel wwe elite shirts i'm putting it in meh and that's it next up is randy orton this is i want to put it and go buy it honestly but i'm gonna put it at the top of go buy it i really like the trunks now given you know he has his updated tattoo look but i think around for this era of randy orton it really matches like that skinny kind of you know look to randy orton uh the tattoos were lighter back then they weren't as dark as they are now and it was really accurate. This pissed off Randy Orton head sculpt, if you acetone the hair off, it looks like the bald era of Randy Orton. Really good figure, actually. I'm going to put it in good figure. It's borderline go buy it, though. It's really good. Next up is R-Truth. Very similar to his other figure. I'm going to put it in barely acceptable. I think this is the one. I can't remember. I think this is the one that came with the bulletproof vest. His Elite 2 is the one that came with the cloth shirt. This one came with the bulletproof vest. Not very different than his other figure. Head sculpt was similar. It's just not one of those figures that I would seek out. I don't think it's close to the garbage, but it's barely acceptable if that makes sense. You know, it's just one of those that's just like, ah, yeah, yeah, even though I love our truth Next up's Elite 9 MVP. This is go buy it. You know, you get his sleeve tattoo, really great attire. We are getting the updated MVP, which would probably move this down to good figure, but if you want that classic look of MVP, man, this is a really good figure to buy. I would endorse it. Really good stuff. You get the chain, you get the good attire. I mean, it's MVP, it's throwback, it's good stuff. Next up, guy. I mean, we're finishing up with some pretty good bangers here. Elite 8 Edge. I don't know if this is good figure, go buy it, or meh. I honestly could put it in all three. I'm going to put it in good figure. I like Edge a lot. It's a red gear. You know, this is the only red gear Edge that we've gotten outside of the Ultimate Edition. We have had red gear, like, you know, red attires, like, playing through and stuff like that. But the head sculpts, eh. You know, it's it's good figure. I think it's good figure. I think that's fair. The paint shipped like a mofo, especially if you have it loose you know it's just paint chipping all over the place i'm gonna put in good figure next up is evan born this is go buy it really good figure 
end of the day. Now, if we were to like rank that, I guess I can do that at the end a little bit, but that's a go buy it. That, that figure is really fun to pose around. Uh, it's kind of expensive. I think it goes for like $60 loose or something maybe. And it's still really good. Next up is Big Show. This one's meh for me. I will put it at the top of meh because, I mean, you got both world tag titles. It's a pretty decent, you know, you get the cloth accessory, pretty decent head sculpt. You know, there's just better Big Shows nowadays. It's just a meh release for me, at least at this juncture. I'm going to put him right there. And then finishing it up with Yoshi Tatsu. I'm going to put this in good figure. I'm going to put it like middle of the pack right here. You know, it's a pretty good release. We got a ton of good figures throughout the series right here. But Yoshi Tatsu, I think it was a pretty good formula. Great attire detail. Pretty solid head sculpt. He's got the bicep bands. Just a colorful figure. And just overall pretty damn solid, Brad. But at the end of the day, guys, this does it for my ranking of Elite Series 6 through 10. At the end of the day here, I mean, if we wanted to drag and drop some of these in the go buy it section... Batista's up there. JTG is up there. I think this Shawn Michaels is really good. The Punk's pretty good. Shad's really good. You know, John Morrison's really good. Evan Bourne's really good. I'd probably put MVP at the bottom right here because we're about to get the re-release. Uh, Evan Bourne's pretty solid. The Punk is pretty good. There are other Punks, though. That William Regal, though, man, probably the most underrated slept-on figure in this entire thing. This is pretty good right here. I agree with this good figure set uh, as far as the ranking of this. This is pretty good. I'd probably put Matt Hardy here. Maybe Cena here. Hornswoggle a little bit there. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'd probably say the worst release is probably... Ted DiBiase, Sheamus. I put R Truth at the top of the barely acceptable. I'm pretty good with this. I like this a lot. Overall, thoughts on everything. I mean, we had some pretty damn good. Uh, what we're going to have to do at the end of the series is we're going to have to take a look at how many go buyouts there are, how many good figures, how many mez, how many barely acceptables. Luckily, nothing ended up in the garbage, which is actually really good. Now, I don't know how many we'll get in the garbage as we progress, but at this juncture, there's no garbage. I think there was two or three in last video, so this should be good. I also want to rank AEW series one through five. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that next, but I know that we've already seen series five. We pretty much know what it's going to be about, so I do want to rank that set doing this exact formula that we have here, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the ranking of Elite Series six through ten. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below what you guys think. I don't have the exact shout out in my brain right now, but I'll put it up on your screen there, and uh, you guys can see that I don't have the exact shout out in my face right now, so I can't, see, you know, Shout out to whoever the hell you are, man. Thank you so very much for your comment. Huge shout out to that guy for that comment. And uh, I guess it probably won't be something that I respond to because I'm sitting here doing this right now. But you guys get the point. Let me know what your ranking would be. What do you think the best figure is from 6 through 10? And definitely go check out ranking Elite Series 1 through 5 so you can uh, play along with the series. I'll see you guys next time for the ranking, whether we do AEW 1 through 5 or we do WWE Elite Series 11 through 15. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And for the love of Christ, don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been beaten by